Hello and welcome back to my channel, Men with Mare. Okay, you all, I am going to be doing Kelsey Ballerini, I believe her name is. I don't know her. One of my subscribers recommended that I watch her short film that she did about her divorce. This is something that I am unfortunately also dealing with. And it's something that I don't wish upon anyone. Not going to stop a ton in this, I don't think, because I really just wanna watch and react and I'm hoping that it's not too emotional, but I'm interested to hear what her story is. Again, I don't know this artist. I don't know if this is gonna be popular or not, but I'm just gonna go for it because I love my subscribers and I love what you all recommend for me to do. All right, let's get right on into it. I just thought you were on the red eye. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm not mad. I just, I just haven't seen you. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. The view. I'm the only one alone at a table meant for two. Big Sur looks beautiful this morning, and I should be missing you. I should be missing you. You're across the pond that I show, I think, in Amsterdam. And the pictures look pretty, at least they do on your Instagram. We say good morning and good night. I wonder if you even know where I am. Where I am. I'm wearing the ring still, but I All right, 
already. That one really <clears throat> captures the loneliness. Doesn't want another year of them just being fine, you know. And it's hard when you look back at whatever age it is. She said at 23 that the person was more in love with them then. It reminds me of the lyric from High Infidelity when she says, you know, there's many different ways to kill the one you love. The slowest way is never loving them enough. And it looks like that's how she feels. Like this has gone on for a long time where she's not getting what she deserves. It's not the same between them. Sounds like her parents like giving up really easily, but he's actually the one that didn't take that that flight maybe to fight for her or to fight for the marriage. Um, it's really powerful, but um, okay, let's keep going. All right, sorry, I know I said I wasn't gonna stop so much, but I remember when things were really bad and it was just beautiful outside and I was going to this park and the wind was blowing, the sun was shining and I felt horrible. And it's as if all of the colors in the sky were very muted, kind of like this. I mean, if she's at Big Sur, one of the most beautiful places in the world, it makes it even worse when you're at a beautiful place that you should be sharing with the person that you committed to for life and they're not there or they're not trying. December too, a fairy tale start crossing our hearts. Rode off in a car that said just married. My heart wasn't made for fixing a plate or keeping our problems buried. I wasn't strong.
like how it represents how it feels that the person just keeps piling on their shit or piling up dirty plates and she's just holding and holding and she's like I'm I'm not one for for like I'm not strong enough to carry all of this stuff and and really dusting it under the rug like I think that he was maybe wanting her to and that isn't something she should be ashamed of that's something that she should it's something that she shouldn't do there was so much love like so much love in the beginning because why would you get married if there wasn't so much love and then it just turns to that you're just married and it isn't it's not oh we're just married like just married so in love it's just married that's it like there's no more to it okay Of 8th Avenue After we said I do And we watched Cars of bachelorettes 2 a.m. cigarettes And tried to get it downtown In the interstate was so loud There was a lot it had to drown out same page with your partner that you're wanting the the house with the backyard and the fence and you put your stuff in a box you're not talking and the person that was like once your best friend isn't your best friend anymore and you know people change and it's okay to to change it's just really hard whenever 
you have an idea and I'm proud of her for buying that house that she really wanted. But it wasn't fate Now my mom is asking if I'm okay And the internet says I'm losing weight This wasn't how it was supposed to play out So which side are you gonna take now? Cause people that I loved Are just people that I knew once The rumors going around But the truth is kinda nuanced I wanna set it straight But my lawyer says I shouldn't And ain't it like this time To only criticize a woman I'm blowing up my life But I'm standing by the crater I walk out on the stage And go cry about it later Good thing I'm good alone Cause that's how I sign the papers Okay, so much there My life is blown up when I'm standing next to a crater <laughs> I feel you But the thin line between love and hate You know, resentment can start to build And it sounds like when she would go out of town Maybe he, didn't, he started to feel resentment toward her then And why she was wondering like Did you hate me when I left town? And sometimes that happens to women when they are maybe more successful than the other man. And I, I don't know what their situation, if that's the truth, but sometimes whenever you have success or you have other things that distract you where they can no longer be the sole focus, um, doesn't always go over well. Not in every relationship. Sometimes there's your cheerleaders for each other. That's the way it should be. But, um, Okay to cry, dying inside. And now you saying that you're lost, and that's lost on me. Tell me, when did I start looking like the enemy? I know the truth is hard to hear. You got yours, and I've got mine, baby. Will you find side? Or will you just?
Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I've been there where you, she's, she's saying that she didn't keep it to herself. She was very open with her needs and how she was feeling. Like you, you really want to say that you're blindsided. Like, no, you've known all along how I felt. And, and are you just blind? Like, are you choosing to look away? Are you choosing to allow it to be subpar? You know? And she's saying, we sat across from each other in therapy for years. How, how are we able to do that? And you feel blindsided. Like it's in that he feels lost. And she's like, it's lost on me. I, I don't, I don't know either. Also talking about having to get drunk just to talk or to communicate. I have dealt with that and, um, it's not healthy and it's not fun. Sometimes people just believe that the other person that they're not treating well is just going to live a mediocre life for the rest of their life. No, you don't have to. It sounds like she was pleading and then he was very aware and for him to kind of play dumb or, or blindsided is just probably infuriating for her. She wanted more. She knew that she could be loved better and that this wasn't sustainable, that the lack of love and the lack of effort wasn't sustainable. I hope you're spending Christmas with your family I hope you're writing songs that you love I hope you're feeling happier than you've ever been And I hope I never leave me again I hope you're hiking that old trail in Westmead And I hope you and Jane are talking more I hope the top is off the Jeep and you're driving in the wind And I hope I never leave me again For a while the shoe fit but then I outgrew it And staying only made me Get real good at pretend So I hope I never leave me again I hope I remember all the pieces Of who I was that I lost on the way I hope I learned to love myself like I loved you then And I hope I never leave me again For a while the shoe fit, yeah But then I outgrew it And staying only made me get real good at pretend So I hope I 
hope that you find somebody new I hope that you get the house and the good wife and the kids And I hope I never leave me again Yeah, I hope I never leave me again a doozy that was that was really good I love that she ended that way that she still wishes that person well and that they get everything that they wanted and that she hopes that she gets back the pieces that she lost the pieces of her that she she ignored sounds as if she betrayed herself um, maybe staying longer than she should have and left who she who she knows that she is and that she hopes that she never does that ever again in the future and I I really like that ending I really really like that ending and I and I feel that so that's really beautiful I hope that for any any of you who have gone through a hard breakup or a divorce that you do find yourself again if you feel like you lost part of yourself in it and even if it's the most amicable breakup there's still really hard parts of it like separating the things grieving what you thought would have been grieving who the person was in the life that you envisioned for yourself there's a real pain in that so Thank you for having me react to this. It's, it was really therapeutic, actually. So I hope it was for you all as well. All right, be well. Take care. Bye-bye.